All right, hello. We have today a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and we have a 15 Pro Max. Right here, both are in black color or gray or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can see here in the light that they are almost identical. Um, in real life, I would say maybe the iPhone is a little bit more like grayish and um, Samsung is more like a um, um, like a comfortable black <laughs> I don't know how you call them um, okay and then the design uh, it's the it's almost this I think the specs are almost the same uh, okay so I'm gonna you can find on the internet a lot of reviews and you can see more information about that I'm gonna just go in my own experience what exactly um, I felt like using them and you know I would give you my opinion and maybe it's gonna help you decide which one you wanna buy. Okay, so first of all, the button, right? This one is a really comfortable button here. And then you have these buttons to um, unlock in the right side and to uh, use the volume up and down on this side. And also you have a new action button here. So right here, you could see that I can use it, you know, comfortable, even if it's a plus, this one, I can still use it, but this button, the new um, button, the action button, is going to be not so easy to uh, to use because the, the location is not it's not easy reachable uh, on the Pro Max and the Samsung. On the other hand, so you have the same placement pretty much of the home button. You could see here that if you hold the phone in the hands, the they are close to each other so the samsung is going to be maybe a little bit comfortable more comfortable because it's a little bit lower and if you have smaller hands and it's a big phone and then the volume button here which is super comfortable i would say you know it's just more comfortable and then to turn on the camera all the time like you get the phone and you press two times and the camera is on and then you can take a picture and then you can take a picture with this one with this one and then you can block it. With the iPhone, if you want to take a picture, you can set up this one as a, uh, to turn on the camera, but it's not so easy to turn on because it's not so comfortable. See, right now I'm, I, I, it's uh, on the silent standard, but even if I want to go on the silent, I still need to, you know, to get a little bit complicated. But to turn on the camera, you you can do it like that, and then you can use this button to take a picture. The same thing; it's not so easy to to get it. So this is going to be a win for uh, the Samsung. I'm getting my coffee in the morning. You can see that this is where I'm right now. And then I hope until the end of this video, I'm going to get on. How can I help you? <laughs> All right, so the always on display. You can see the always on display, they look pretty much the same. They have the same information except the date is on the top, the date is on the bottom, and then you have the same round. This is a little bit different shape. Uh, the information of the battery you have here, it tells you um, in numbers, which is good. Here it doesn't tell you numbers, but I mean, it's, it's both fine. And this is the, the weather which is gonna tell you some information about the weather. And then you have extra stuff here, uh, some extra information on the um, Galaxy, which for me personally uh, doesn't do anything. They are small and actually don't know exactly you know, what, what they do. Uh, so these are the same. Now you can see here uh, the glare is a little bit more on the iPhone. Maybe I would say a lot more in real life when you use both. You're not going to have an issue with any of them, but at the same time, you could see how big difference, we, you know, would be the, the glare on the Samsung compared to an iPhone. So this is a good thing for Samsung, of course. I hope the Apple is going to do it later, the same thing. Uh, here, the camera set up in the, in the back, the iPhone is gorgeous. I like the setup on the iPhone, on the Samsung Galaxy S24, it's really nice. 
uh, the design is really nice and it's clean it's beautiful the iPhone is the same uh, design that they have I mean if you look at both my opinion that Samsung looks better in the terms of design um, I don't know about functionality if there are gonna be a big difference between the setup or not but in terms of design I would say the Samsung looks a little bit better all right next is gonna be the fingerprint right here you have a fingerprint okay so this is this is how it works that's it that's it oh it didn't work all right that's it and this one and this is how Apple works boom so in order to unlock Apple you need to press one time and then press on the screen touch the screen and then it's gonna unlock it you could do it even without that as well you can see here the phone is on uh, always on display and that's it so maybe this one is gonna be more convenient for the uh, majority of the people then but both they both work really nice uh, okay the next one is going to be the sound quality on call and loudspeaker for some reason um, every time when I when somebody call me or when I call somebody the speaker is super low on this one uh, I don't know exactly why is it but it's a slow speaker and the quality is lower here than on iPhone uh, the quality of the when when I call on FaceTime or um, an iPhone only and WhatsApp on the other one is going to be better on the iPhone for some reason. I don't know why the the Samsung, I mean the quality of the speaker is going to be a little bit lower. Um, okay, and then you have the super fast Samsung. So right here, if you want to go to any kind of calls. You could see that it's super fast super fast all right and here you have super fast as well but in a different way so this is a fast fluid this is a fluidity fast so this one is just fast this is fluidly fast so if you add fluidly fast <coughs> this is going to be an iphone for you all right the next one is going to be uh the interface on both okay you could see here that i set up both almost the same i have here almost the same information um i have the youtube i have the youtube here the the widgets and both of them and you know they look both understandable and easy to read and you know I have the time I have the the weather I have the calendar uh, you know everything looks fine they pretty much the the software if you you know customization look almost the same of course on the Android and Samsung you have more customization more options but in general you can set it up to be exactly pretty much the same on both sides better life almost the same not a big difference um, the always on display I was just telling you that it's almost the same thing you can set it up in the same way uh, now you're gonna say iCloud photos versus um, the photos from the uh, alright then you have the notes you have a simple notes on the iPhone super simple notes let's say if you want to go into notes you're just gonna have like a blank screen and then you can write something so for example I write test all right it's gonna be easy right here so the design is super super nice and then on the Samsung you have Samsung notes and then you can download them a one note from Microsoft you can download the Google notes you have a lot of options to download and they in my opinion would be a little bit mm, more custom a, a lot more customizable than on the um, iPhone and they're gonna be uh, actually in my opinion better uh, you would use notes from the Apple device only if you use a MacBook and you can you know um, 
sync it really nice but other than that I mean the other notes are really better uh, Chrome and Safari so Chrome and Safari Chrome is gonna be very fast and customizable and Safari is gonna be customizable to a certain point and super fast as well so they are pretty much um, not a big difference in terms of uh, usability um, you get used to any of them um, the one thing that I was reading online um, about Chrome is that it takes a lot of memory a lot of RAM and the computer and then, and then if you use an iPhone you use a MacBook and MacBook is gonna be working I would say more efficiently on a Safari um, than on a Chrome so what I do I use Safari most of the time and I use Chrome when I need to uh, to preserve battery life and uh, get more or on Apple ecosystem I use an Android and uh, the problem is that if you use an Android you gotta get a Windows if you wanna uh, sync it pretty much the same way as the Apple ecosystem but um, you can use it with a MacBook as well the only thing the down downside is that you're not gonna be able to do a lot of stuff really in uh, syncing um, as uh, if you had an iPhone so that would be a, a downside so uh, Windows computers are very complicated to find in the same level of quality as Apple does uh, there are too many of them and it's very complicated to find something that you can compare to a MacBook for example if you can get a MacBook Air you can get it um, M1 for like 800 bucks on Amazon and for 800 bucks the same other Windows computer is going to be complicated to match what the, the Apple is giving you only difference is going to be if you ac actually need a Windows if you actually need a Windows then yes you can you know buy any computer you want you can find it for even lower than 800 or more than 800 you're gonna have a lot of options a lot of different companies that make computers they're gonna laptops they're gonna run Windows okay one other thing is that um, I'm gonna just show you one-handed use so the, this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 so this is with one hand and for some reason it's even if it's a big phone it's a big chunky you know it's 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 a big phone with a big screen and um, um, the corners are uh, sharp but you when you hold it in the hand for some reason it's not complicated to manage with one hand for example let's say if I want to go to a calculator right this is the calculator I can get all the numbers with one hand because the setup is made that I don't need to reach on the top or you know even I don't have big hands and I still can reach all of them so for for example if you go to um, an iPhone let's say you want to go to a calculator you can see it's a simple calculator but I need to you know it's not so easy to reach to so I need to move my hand around in order to get to to this position so I think that um, one-handed usage is a lot better on the Samsung even if you have a big screen also here on the Samsung you have this kind of option right you can just slide it you just slide it two times and then you have all the menu and it's pretty much reachable it's very reachable in general and then you have the back button or the swipe if you go back 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 and you are all right another thing is that if you want to do if you want to uh, kill the applications you have an option here this button and then you can kill all the applications same time with Apple you need to kill the application each time one by one so for example I open this one I need to close this one first and then I gotta close this one and this one and this one so it's gonna be um, one by one so Samsung wins in this uh, department um, okay another thing is that you're gonna use a lot of uh, uh, your phone when you're gonna drive you're gonna use a uh, CarPlay uh, Apple Play Apple CarPlay or, or Android CarPlay so in my test I mean in my experience I would say that they're both working really good uh, in similar and different ways but let's say if you want to use Google Maps this is gonna be Android which 
pretty much Google Maps is an Android application. It uh, belongs to Google, which makes Android. And then it's more, um, maybe it's going to work a little bit better on the Android and the, the interface, the design is going to be looking better. On, Andro on iPhone, it's going to look good too, but just in my experience, it looks a little bit uh, better on this one. So this is my opinion on these two phones. Which one is better? Um, in my opinion, none of them is better than each other. It's both are good. Maybe Apple is going to be a tight, more mm, familiar to majority of the people. So that's why it takes an advantage of you know why people buy them. Just because any model of an iPhone you have, you we had in the, in the past, is going to be the same software. You're not going to be any difference between picking up different iPhones. With Android, is going to be different, different, completely different story. With Android, you pick up any other Android, and then you're going to have a different experience in any of them. So if you have, you pick a one company, one plus phone. If you pick up a Motorola, if you pick up um, a different Samsung, even you're going to have a little bit different experience. You have so many options, so many. Um, um, let's say software uh, differences that you would um, uh, be familiar more with an Apple ecosystem, Apple device, uh, no matter what. So if you would pick up any Apple device, you're going to have an, um, a better experience by upgrading or downgrading or whatever, you know. So I would say in this terms, Apple is going to be a winning point and then with the ecosystem is going to be another winning point the Android if you want to pick an Android that means that you want a special customization or if you you want a specifically a specific phone and if you're talking about flagships it's pretty much only this one uh, so if you want to have the best of an Android world the Samsung Galaxy S24 is going to be the best one this year if you have if you want to get an Apple device the best one would be a 15 Pro Max but at the same time, if you buy any other 15, 15 Plus or 15 Pro, you can have almost the same thing what you have here. And the Samsung would be pretty much the same um, idea, but there's only a big but. The S24 Ultra design is completely different than the other Samsung. So you're getting a different phone completely from outside. So you are completely in a different uh, domain of uh, phones when you're getting this one so when I'm talking about Androids or Samsung's I'm talking about only about the flagship phone because usually uh, the other phones on Samsung nobody cares about them I guess even Samsung when they make them they don't really care about them because they advertise majority of the time the biggest and best you know everybody's making reviews on the biggest and the best compared to an Apple which Apple uh, doesn't advertise only the Pro Max. For some re reason, people are buying them like crazy, but they are trying to make the differences for specifically specific people uh, needs. So, in terms of this one, I would suggest majority of the people to get an iPhone, and for let's say a power user or. Uh, um, a specialty person that would like to play with an Android and use all the features of the Android, I would suggest the Ultra, uh, Samsung Ultra Galaxy S24. I would use both, and I like both. Uh, maybe I would use to play the with the Samsung more than with the iPhone, but I would just get an iPhone for you know all the features that this time wins a lot for example FaceTime, iMessage, um, the quality of uh, everything, pretty much everything. Uh, that's why when I pick up the iPhone I know that it, I know what it's gonna do. I know it's gonna be quality and I know everything what it's gonna do in terms of FaceTime, in terms of um, uh, camera, it's not gonna fail. In terms of battery, it's not gonna fail. In terms of the screen, it's not gonna fail. With Android, it's gonna be complicated a little bit because you gotta pick up the best one if you wanna have the same experience. If you pick up other models, lower price, you might not go to get, get a good experience on Android. So that's all. Thank you very much for checking my 
honest review and comparison of this year's Samsung Galaxy S24 and um, iPhone 15 Pro Max. Thank you if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you like this video, you can like it as well. And then if you want to buy uh, any of the iPhones uh, refurbished 15 Pro Max, you can check my links in the description. It's an Amazon link. There is, uh, uh, they sell renewed um, iPhones, which are pretty much like refurbished or used. Uh, that's a good deal sometimes they it's just cheaper than um, Apple directly if you want to buy an unlocked phone and then you can buy um, a Samsung on Amazon usually Amazon gives you a lot of deals better even than Samsung if you just buy it unlocked uh, pay cash up front and then they give you for example this year they gave me $200 gift card and the phone cost me $1300 minus 200 which is $1100 so it's a good deal well, thank you again. Until the next time.